Here we go, the ATP Finals. They are now set. The groups are set, two groups of four. Let's go have a look at who got given what player. And also, let's talk about a little bit more about the head-to-head -head between the guys that are in each other's groups. So in group A, or the green group, or whatever group name they've given it, it's Nadal, Kasper Ruud, Felix Ogelia-Sim, and Taylor Fritz. Having a quick look at the record between all of those guys. So, Rafa, his record against Kasper Ruud. 1-0. They played at the French Open this year. 1-0 is his record against Kasper Ruud. Against Felix Ogelia-Sim, it is. 2-0. He's beaten Felix twice. Remember, he beat him at the French Open in a five-setter as well. And against Fritz, he has a 2-1 record against a winning record, Rafa. But remember, he did lose that match at Indian Wells. So interesting for Rafa, but not, uh, I would say, all winnable matches. I think Rafa would be happy with that. Rude's record against the rest of the group, as I just mentioned, he's got a 0-1 and one record against Rafa. So he has a 2-1 and one record against Felix, a positive record there. That's good. And he's never played Taylor Fritz. So 0-0 zero, zero in that matchup. Uh, Felix, as I said, he's got a 0-2 and two record against Rafa. He has a 1-2 and two record against Rude, so a losing record there. And he's only played Fritz once, and he's got a losing record against Fritz. So to be honest, Felix's uh, record against the rest of his group got one win combined in their matchup. So not great, I guess, uh, for Felix, even though he's probably the most informed player in the group. And Fritz, he has got a one win, two loss record against Rafa. He's never played rude. And against FAA, he has a 1-0 positive record against. So again, like I said, it's a very even group. I think it's a very even group with the only guy in form in that group being FAA. And as I just said, his, his matchups against the others, not so good. Having a look at Group B and you've got City Pass, Medvedev, Rublev, and Djokovic. Are just a killer group. And all those guys are in most of, well, they've been in good form in the last couple of months. So uh, City Pass's record against Medvedev, three wins, seven losses. Bad record against uh, Medi. Against Rublev, it's six wins, four losses. And against Djokovic, it's two wins and nine losses. So I think Sidney Pass has got the hardest draw. Having a look at Medvedev, against Sidney Pass, he's got a seven win, three loss record, so a positive record there. Against Rublev, he's got a four win, one loss record. And against Djokovic, he's four wins and seven losses. So uh, Medvedev's got a nice draw. I think he you know, he rates his chances against both Sidney Pass and Rublev on the, on the indoor hard courts. And then Djokovic match, that's going to be what probably decides the top uh, player of the group. Uh, Rublev, he's got a four win, six uh, loss record against City Pass, one and four against Medi, and he has a one one even record against Djokovic. Remember, he did beat Djokovic on clay earlier this season. So, uh, look, I, I think Rublev will be happy with, um, you know, he, he'll rate his chance against City Pass, and I think um, he'll give it a good crack against Djokovic. And then, of course, Novak Djokovic. He has a nine win, two rec loss record against City Pass. He has a seven win, four loss record against Medvedev, and he's won one against Rublev. So he's, I mean, he's got, like, no matter what, everyone wanted to avoid Djokovic because of this exact reason. He has, a, he has a winning record against everyone, almost. Very interested to see how these draws play out. What do you guys think? Who do you think is gonna make it to the semis? Remember, the top of each group make it through, and the second player of each group make it through. So top two make it through, second plays first of the opposite group in the semis. So they cross over. Who do you think is making the semis? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the uh, comments below if you're watching this uh, later. I think Djokovic makes it through. I think Djokovic Medvedev from Group B. And I think it might be FAA and Fritz. I mean, I would love to see Rafa get through, but I think Fritz might be a little bit of... Maybe even Fritz Rafa and FAA misses out. That could be something. I don't know. I just feel like Fritz could, like, maybe do something crazy. I guess Felix and, and Rafa's the easy choice. But I'm going to go with Fritz. I think Fritz is going to make the semis. That's my bold prediction. Who is going to win the ATP Finals? Who's going to top the groups? 